that is on guys so uh you might be wondering why i'm in nba website right now and yes it's the nba finals and um if, if your team is in well some two years ago, some two years ago i did a good job scraping on the nba's website so as you can see here and uh Fast forward to now, two days ago, I visit on and check on the nba.com site again. And as far as I can check, it seems that it does not somehow change in terms of form inputs. Grabbing on my tool, I did um, visit on my program, check on my web scraper, and launch. Boom! I got black. To show it all off to you, let me launch my scraper from two years ago. So there you go. I named this as NBA Spider as you can see here. So that's it. Just the same as you can see. So Two years ago, the NBA.com's URL would depend on the country you are in. So, as you can see here in my uh, in my documentation, NBA has a domain of so the NBA's domain from two years ago is phglobalnba.com, as you can see there. But right now, it's only displaying this NBA.com, right? So, if we are to uh, analyze the front end of the website, we can have it check this. If you're familiar with this, working with this uh, browser settings, uh, browser feature here. This one you can see all the network requests right here. But let's go here. So in here, well, the request URL change as you can see. And still the referrer still nba.com. So yeah, I revisited the site two days ago and relaunch my program and it no longer works yes because for the fact that number one the domain change and number two they do have a cookie ID now as you can see here SCID DD8 and number three if ever you can you know there's no captcha in the site yet but so your uh, your bot is not is not blocked right now, but if ever you if ever you can manage to um, successfully scrape the site using your bot, this is all you have here. These are links, so you can grab any information from this. Way back, my program just grab and grab and get and. Uh, print now it's not a different case so if you go here in the scores check on this effort scores Way back, the output for this is JSON. It's JSON data. So it's so much easier for me to scrape way back. But now, I'm just gonna have this. Just links. So you can't really get scores or any information given that fact right now. But then, 
your boy does not give up to give you the, this content. So I, I scroll down and really take a look and uh, provide a solution on this matter because I really want to get uh, to scrape NBA again. Then I came up to this. As you can see, this is a JSON data, right? So what the what this website did is that they reroute, they redirected a certain data to another URL, which is in my case new, which is this the data NBA dot which became a relief on me, on my side, because gives me hope that I can scrape this site again. Don't get me wrong, I'm a really NBA fan here, just much as you do. You, what I'm talking about is that when we go to that data, we have this, datainbay.net prod v2, and the date for the game scoreboard.json so having that if we are going to manipulate this um, URL request if we go to 26 here it will display all the games that had happened September 26 2020 right stick with September September 10 There you go. We have games right here. These are all in JSON, JSON format right there. So, as you know, if we have this JSON data, all we need to do is parse all this data so we can get the meaningful um, or the data that we only need just through parsing, right? So, having that. If I'm going to apply my previous um, program, so if I, if I need the score and let's say yeah, I input um, game. This is by by the way, I, I already edited my my code um, from the site changes, so already. Um, uh, edited the input here so way back the input was different but now I just edit this one and you know just uh, point my code to this URL so with that launch as you can see here and as you can see there I'm denied okay so why is that you can view the URL by using a browser okay but why am I blocked using the program? It's because the web server is thinking that you're not a browser. You're browsing the site using a bot. So you you don't have this um in the referrer referrer as the site's domain will not do for this. Okay, so in order for us to bypass this but how am I gonna do that right I think I need to uh, modify my scraper and start from scratch but in order for me to do that I need to have the web server think that I'm, that I'm accessing the site by a browser not a bot so um, Screw this. We are going to make a new one. So let's just jump right into it. Let's solve this issue, okay? So all know uh, all issue in this channel will be solved. It's all a guarantee. So subscribe. All right. We need a request library here because you know we are going to communicate with a certain web server, so we, we need a request here but this will be new to you or if, if ever anyone don't have a background or don't familiarize himself with uh, 
beautiful soup yet so right now we are gonna we are going to use beautiful soup so to further give you some background in the beautiful soup I will recommend this um, site to you or this URL right here so as you know this beautiful soup is a Python library for pulling data out of HTML XML files in, uh, it's wor it works with your favorite parser, idiomatic ways of navigating, searching, and modifying the parse tree. So, it really does work, especially with Python version 2.7 and 3. And yes. So, and back to our program. So, we have the two libraries we needed. And we are going to have a, a variable URL here. So, as we know, our target is this. Oh, let's just see if we can script this. Okay. Because if we can script this URL, we can script NBA. Alright. We can, we can scraping or every any data uh, from the NBA's website. Okay, and uh, next we here is the difference maker. So, um, we are going to set a user agent that would act as a browser. Okay, so this means that if you, are, if you are a user and you're using a Mozilla Firefox browser and you go to the internet browsing nba.com, you will not be blocked, okay, because you're not a bot. There's a, um, there's a confirmation from the web server that you yourself is not a bot okay so right now we're gonna set user agent to, to Mozilla all right let me get the template here um, normally this template works uh, we are going to set Mozilla Chrome or Safari okay so we can um, browse this so we can use this scraper to any um, browsing platform that is available right now. So we have Mozilla, Safari, and Chrome. Once we set that, we are going to set our page for our uh, variable request. So we set this as page request, then get URL which is um, get URL which is this and a header which contains the agent so this sets an insurance for this um, page request that you page request topic traffic that you are going to set so let's print now print so in here we are going to use beautiful soup and page dot content to get all the um, content in the web in the web page. Sorry, it's that and LXML. What is this for? So uh, we set this for beautiful soup to use a um, LXML to parse um, data. So why do we need to you to parse using an LXML pri uh, parser? First things first, LXML is the default um, parser for Beautiful Soup because it provides a very simple and uh, you know a very powerful API. And uh, that's just just a, that's just a suggestion. Uh, closing. Let's close that. And uh, okay, let's try the program. Okay. Um, Go Python. Uh, score that by. Let's see if it it parse the entire uh, JSON data. Oh, we got an error here. Request keyword header. Oh, but it must be headers, not header. Okay. Score that by. Let's see. All right. Look at we have here. Look what we look what we have here. Okay. It seems that we are successful 
parsing. We are successful scraping the JSON data from the NBA website. Once we scrape this, we have it all, man. We 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 got it. It's a voila. It's a it's a success to us. So yeah, we we parse through this, and by the next by the next tutorial, hopefully I can um, show you how to manipulate JSON data and parse this through a meaningful output. Okay. So that's gonna end up for now. Hope you all enjoy and hope you get all excited with um, with this. Web scraping is really fun and continue learning man. Hope you all the best. See you next time.